Well, this is a nice plant. You might mm. want it in your house, right? Yeah. Very pretty plant Very in your pretty. backyard. Well, before you bring this one home, check out our next story. I'm a florist. I really love what I do. I do a lot of weddings and special events. One particular day, I came across this plant. It had bright green leaves, a really cool texture. I was really drawn to it. It was called Dog Eye. So I picked it up and I brought it back to the flower shop. I started making all sorts of things with it, bouquets. I went home, and I took a shower, and while I was in the shower, I just started to rub my eyes. And I started to sort of tingle. I thought I had some soap in my eyes, and it got increasingly worse. I didn't know what was going on. It was hurting so bad. I stepped out of the shower. I reached for the towel rack, and my vision was so blurry. It was very disorienting. I just had this bad feeling that it had something to do with the sap from that plant. I called Poison Control. I told them that I had been working with this plant. They told me that I needed to immediately flush my eyes. The sap from this plant can cause blindness in a matter of minutes. I went straight to the sink and I flushed my eyes. It was terrifying. It just stung so bad, like acid in my eyes. I'm thinking I'm 26 years old. Am I going to go blind? Greta actually joins us, and first thing is, how is your vision and eyesight? Um, my eyes have healed completely, thanks. I mean, everything could have turned out a lot worse, but I followed all the instructions from the poison control operator, and I'm fine. Oh, thanks wow. For asking. And, and Greta, you're a trained horticulturist. You know plants. And the idea that you didn't know that this, that this plant, which is available at any grocery store, really, right here in California, was, was poisonous is amazing. So this yeah. is kind of a new thing to you and certainly a new thing to us. Yeah, I really had no idea. It didn't even cross my mind that it might be dangerous. Uh, I think is this really is scary. a perfect example of something we say on the show all the time. Just because something's natural doesn't make it safe. Well, let's have uh, a doc join the conversation and explain why this would even happen. Please welcome eye surgeon Dr. Brian boxer Walker. <laughs> experience to bring a plant home and the next thing you know you feel like you're going blind within minutes most definitely as it turns out the sap of this plant is very toxic and it's like it scorches the surface tissues of the eye because it causes damage and inflammation and if left untreated it can cause severe corneal scarring that can even lead to blindness Wow. So Greta did all the right things so what should God forbid someone comes into contact with something like this um, what steps need to be taken? I would recommend number one if you're working with any plant and you get something on your fingers and you rub your eye and you start to feel pain and discomfort right away go to the sink rinse it before you even get on the phone because you're wasting valuable time and you know even if you're at a sink or you just go to the shower just open your eye don't hold it open with your fingers because you could reintroduce the sap back in your eye just copiously irrigate 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 and have someone else call and try to get to the emergency room right away. So I, I, I think the lesson here is obviously be aware. Greta, thank you for raising yeah. your name. Dr. Dr. Walker, always a pleasure.